You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I got to ask Omicongo and uh, Julian this. So uh, y'all, y'all, might have seen, y'all might have seen Naomi Osaka. Uh, she actually uh, put out um, a, um, a, a tweet she was talking about uh, her um, uh, being on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Well, that, that didn't sit too well with uh, these whiny conservatives. Uh, th- this is the, um, uh, this here, right here is uh, the cover. Uh, and uh, and she, uh, she calls this, she says, first Haitian woman and first Japanese woman uh, on the uh, SI cover. And so this is right here, uh, what she put on Twitter. Uh, and so these are the images right here. Uh, well, that, that didn't sit too well, these whiny conservatives. And so you had uh, Clay Travis uh, and Megyn Kelly, they decided to weigh in uh, and, get, uh, and get upset with her because, you know, she chose not, not to do interviews. She's talked about uh, her uh, mental health, things along those lines. Uh, and so, and so M- M- Megyn Kelly, you know, who, you know, you remember Megyn Kelly, Santa Claus is white, Megyn Kelly. Um, uh, <laughs> what, what she did was she put out uh, this, uh, this, this, this tweet here that was, kind of, was a joke. Uh, that let me just pull. Let me try to find it. Um, let me try to find it where she, where she where she whined about it. Um, and um, she oh, so this is what this fool uh, Clay Travis said, uh, saying she's too introverted to talk to the media after tennis matches. Naomi Osaka has launched a reality show, a Barbie, and now is on the cover of the SI swimsuit issue. Swimsuit issue. Okay, so. Then Megan decided to chime in by saying, uh, let's not forget the cover of an interview in Vogue Japan and Time Magazine. Well, that caused Osaka to fire back by reminding her that uh, you do know the lead time to magazines uh, are several months. And she said she did these interviews uh, months ago. Uh, and so now, uh, poor little Megan and Pierce Morgan, who is 100% bitch assness, um, they are now complaining because Naomi Osaka has blocked them. Well, punk ass, well, here's the deal, punk ass Pierce Morgan, you blocked me last year. Oh, you know? so you mad because Osaka blocked you and your sorry behind uh, blocked me? Go to hell, Pierce Morgan, and Megan Kelly. Shut the hell up, Julian. These, these people are a trip with with their with their nonsense. Go ahead. Well, you know, first of all, Megan Kelly just needs to disappear, like you said. Santa Claus is white. Da da da. Just go away, girl. Just go away. Bye, Felicia. Uh, Pierce Morgan, even worse than that. Naomi Osaka needs to be commended for taking yes, control o'clock. of her mental health. The fact of the matter is we are in a mental health crisis here in this country. Some fools shooting up outside the National Park in Washington, D.C. Um, Post-COVID, all kind of people lose it. If this young lady has enough prescience to say, I don't want to talk to the media, it causes me anxiety, good for her. She doesn't have to. And uh, all Pierce Morgan has to do is just, you know, get on a horse, you know, and ride it. And Megyn Kelly should have been canceled a long time ago. But, uh, but I give her props. Uh, July is Minority Mental Health Month. We're looking at people of color and mental health issues. And anything that causes you anxiety got to go. Period. Uh, it, it, it amazes me again when you have uh, this poor little... Pun- and I wonder, since Megan is complaining about a name Naomi Osaka... Well, uh, Megan, your former Fox News colleagues, Eric Bowling, Sean Hannity, Lou Dobbs, Maria Bartiroma, all four of them blocked me. Y'all gonna, <laughs> y'all gonna complain about that? You know, the, the hypocrisy is, is amazing. And, you know, we want Megan Kelly to disappear from these airways, but she ends up on Sirius. And so it's like they keep finding ways to, to keep her 
whatever she's doing going. And I'm like, yo, one of the things you didn't mention, uh, uh, Roland, is that Naomi also has a, a special on Netflix as well. So my thing is, like, what I love about what she's doing is that she is, and many athletes out there, the LeBron James of the world, they are flexing their muscle. They're showing their power. They're letting people know that y'all need us to make these for the ratings, for the endorsements, and all these other types of things. But you know what? I'm in control right now. And with all of the mental health challenges, I'm thinking back to your earlier segment about Ed Buck and the extreme cases that these black men are dealing with. You know, there are so many issues that people need to see people within our community. And this is also true uh, within, uh, you know, uh, the Asian community that she represents as well, where there's this stigma around uh, stigma around mental health and, and mental illness. And so for her to speak up and then to come out on these covers like a boss like that and do all of these specials, more power to her. And, and we have her back, period, bottom line. Again, uh, Piers Morgan, kiss, in the, in the words of Della Reese from Harlem Knights, kiss my entire ass. <laughs> entire <laughs> ass. That's Classic. I mean, Piers, Piers Morgan, and, and, and that's that, he is a hundred percent bitch assness. All of his whining about Meghan Markle because she ghosted him because you probably sucked on the date, and he can't get over it. Now he wants to trash her. That's why you little punk ass walked off the set when you got criticized because you couldn't t handle the heat that was in your face. And so I'm like, shut the hell up. Folks, back to that whole Mark Antoine video in just one moment. Racial injustice is a scourge on this nation, and the black community has felt it for generations. We have an obligation to do something about it. Whether it's canceling student debt, increasing the minimum wage, or investing in black owned businesses, the black community deserves so much better. I'm Nina Turner, and I'm running for Congress to do something about it.